रेडियोलॉजिकल एनाटमी ऑफ एप्टमेन दिस इज एक्सरे के यू बी विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द प्लेन एक्सरे ऑफ एप्टमेन सिंस नो स्पेशल डाई इज यूज फॉर इमेजिंग के यू बी स्टैंड फॉर किडनी यूरेटर एंड यूरिनरी ब्लैडर सिंस दिस एक्सरे इज यूज फॉर एग्जामिनिंग दीज ऑर्गन दिस इज द ए पी व्यू एंड टेरो पोस्टीरियर व्यू विच मीन्स द एक्स रेज कम फ्रॉम द इंटीरियर साइड एंड गो टू द पोस्टीरियर साइड बिफोर टेकिंग दिस एक्स रे इट इज नेसेसरी टू क्लियर द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टनल ट्रैक्ट बिकॉज द गैसेज शेडोज ऑफ गैसेज एंड फीकल मैटर मे ऑब्सट्रक्ट द फाइंडिंग्स अवॉइड इंजेस्टिंग एनी फूड फॉर अबाउट ट्वेल्व आवर्स बिफोर द इन्वेस्टिगेशन द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टनल ट्रैक कैन बी क्लियर बाय द यूज ऑफ लैक्जेटिव द बोनी शेडो सीन आर दैट ऑफ द लोअर रिब्स लंबार वर्टेब्रे हिप बोन्स सैक्रम एंड द सैक्रो इलेक् जॉइंट्स द सॉफ्ट टिश्यू शेडोज आर अविजिबल आर दैट ऑफ द डायफ्राम द सोएस मेजर मसल द किडनी the liver and the spleen the gas in the fundus of the stomach may be seen as a large bubble which is seen as a dark shadow intestinal gas may also be seen this x-ray may be used to check for any sort of intestinal obstruction the x-rays that we are now going to see are the special x-rays because a special dye containing barium sulfate is used these are known as barium studies barium sulfate is an ideal dye because it is radio opaque it is harmless to the body it is not absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract it is not soluble in water so it forms emulsions the x-ray seen on the screen is done with the help of barium meal barium meal is mainly used for examining the stomach and the duodenum the patient is made to drink a suspension of barium sulfate in water the entire alimentary canal can be examined by following the barium and taking successive radiographs the beginning of the first part of duodenum has got poorly developed circular folds this is seen as the duodenal cap the rest of the duodenum has got well developed circular folds hence it has got a feathery a characteristic feathery appearance this is another x-ray done with the help of barium meal in which the stomach is prominently visible there is a large air bubble in the fundus of the stomach which is seen as a dark shadow this is a special x-ray of the abdomen done using barium enema which is specifically used for studying the large intestine a suspension of barium sulfate which is a radio opaque dye is injected per rectally through the anus the hostations on the ascending transverse and descending colon are visible and the sigmoid colon and rectum are seen to be dilated pyelography is done to examine the urinary tract the radiograph that is obtained is known as pyelogram pyelography may be of two types descending or intravenous pyelography or and ascending pyelography also known as retrograde pyelography the x-ray seen over here is that of descending pyelography it is also known as intravenous pyelography because the radio opaque dye is injected intravenously the course of the ureter is clearly seen up to the urinary bladder the urinary bladder appears oval or triangular in shape the x-ray seen over here is that of ascending pyelography also known as retrograde pyelography the dye is injected directly into the ureter through a ureteric catheter which is guided through a cystoscope the examiner might ask you to differentiate between ascending pyelogram and descending pyelogram so in ascending pyelogram only one pelvis is outlined 
Also, the catheter which is used is clearly visible in the X-ray, as you can see in this X-ray on the screen. Hysterosalpingography, in which the uterus and uterine tubes are visualized and a patency is confirmed. A special dye is used, so this is a special X-ray. The special dye used is iodized oil, lipiodol, which is injected. The examiner might ask you about the indications and contraindications for this procedure. Indications are the reasons uh, for which this procedure is used and contraindications are the reasons for which, uh, during which this procedure should not be used. Contraindications is basically just the opposite of indications. So the indications for hysterosalpingography are uh, it can be used to determine the patency of uterine tubes in case of sterility. It is also used for a diagnosis of the anomalies of the female genital tract. You can check for the blockage of fallopian tubes. You can check for the closure of fallopian tubes. You can check for any congenital uterine problems which may be causing repeated miscarriages. You can check for fibroids, polyps or tumors in the uterus. The contraindications for this procedure are uh, Hysterosalpingography should not be done if the patient has any sort of allergy to the dye. It should not be done during pregnancy and it, and it should not be done if there is an active pelvic infection in the body.